Hey folks, Cliff at Little City Toy Cars here. Haven't been out in a while, but just wanted to shoot another little video about some of my favorite cars. These are Grand Toro's 143 scale Hot Wheels, basically. They're made in Italy in the 70s. A little bigger than a regular Hot Wheel, to give you an idea. Here is a red line. Woody that you can kind of get an idea from scale. Uh, a little bigger. Things are really heavy. They're all metal. You can see the base on this one. Has the Mattel logo on it. This is a Toyota 2000 GT. Something they recently just put out in the main line. These cars are amazing. Uh, lots of detail and um, as a kid I had one. I had a Ferrari which got floating around here I might be able to show you in a little bit um, lots of opening parts and just a cool car so you can see here it's got a little Phillips head screwdriver you could take the base off the wheels um, are mounted into the base those who couldn't take them off you can see the back opens up the doors open up it's got a silver steering wheel in there they always had these almost always had these little light things on them and then the um, hood also opens up. I don't know if I can get that to open up. Let's see. Here we go. Exposing a really detailed engine. So a Toyota 2000 GT. Fantastic car that Hot Wheels missed back in the day but they made sense. A Lamborghini Miura. And again you look at the base here. Just says Miura on it. Got the MeV Toys and the Mattel USA style number is 6605. Got two screws for taking the car off. And again, really cool opening parts. The doors open, close, spot for a spare tire in the front, and then the back opens, exposing another really great detailed engine. This one's in great shape. These are hard to find in great shape in the United States. Mostly you have to get the real good ones in shape, good shape from Europe. Next car, you can see Ford Mark II. This is the predecessor to the GT40. Really pretty navy blue. They all had stickers on them as well, so some of these don't. But again, opening hood with a. This one has its tire in it. Opening doors. Got some nice there paper stickers, not tampos. And then the rear opens up, exposing the engine again. This one's in great shape. I have four or five others that are beat to crap, but this one is nice. Nice, nice. A very cool car that came out in the regular line. You can see this one has the Hot Wheels logo, Hesse Raider on it. This is a Chaparral. The wing op moves up and down. Very cool. This back piece comes off. Exposing the engine and again another spare tire. It just slides right back on. It's slotted too. Um, doors open in a go wing fashion and then just a very cool car. Again, it's got a screw to take the base off, so if you want to replace parts, you can. And put the hood back on properly here. Let's make sure we get that on without scratching it too much here. Bink. Anyhow. Next car, again, this was in the Matchbox line, but not in the Hot Wheels line forever. This is a Lotus Europa. Again, all sorts of opening parts. The back opens up, reverse, exposing a nice little engine. Opening doors. And then another opening hood with a spare tire as well. And again, this normally has uh, paper stickers on it. Uh, this variation I got, I got this off of eBay about three, four years ago. Doesn't have it. And this is the most recent one in my collection. A little harder to find one. This is a Mercedes C3 C111. You can see it's got a little lever right there. If we pull the lever, it pops up the headlights. Very cool. Same kind of wheels, and as with the Mercedes hop in the main line of Hot Wheels red lines, 
gull wing doors, but this one also has a bonnet on the back or a cover that pops open revealing an amazing engine. Highly detailed cars, 143 scale. Um, just very cool and fun to collect, but especially in this condition, these guys are hard to find. Um, a couple others are European counterparts I want to just kind of show off. I collect Porsches. And these are made by a company called Super Champion. Can't quite get it on the bottom here. Let's see. Let's get it right side up. And you can see in the center, Super Champion Porsche 917. This one doesn't have moving parts, but it had liveries or stylings from the real cars of the day. Uh, this is amazing car. The base is plastic, but the rest of it is metal except for the window, the engine. And they had uh, paper stickers also, so a little bit of discoloration you can see there. This one has metal base and made in France. Super champion. Uh, I've seen catalogs with dozens and dozens of these styles. These are crazy expensive on, e on eBay and other websites. Um, I picked up both of these a long time ago, probably eight years ago, for a decent price. So, anyhow, again, 143 scale, giving you an idea on a Hot Wheel here. Here's a T-Bird, how bit, much bigger they are. So, just some really cool cars to check out in the future. Just if you search either Mebi Toys, like it says right here, or you search Grand Toros, which is what they were marketed in as in the United States, um, you'll see them on eBay. So anyway, happy collected. Thanks for checking in, and uh, I'll see you around on Little City Toy Cars. Leave any comments or questions on YouTube.